The big news, obviously, this Monday, Washington changing their name, sort of. You know, the news came out over the weekend that the name change was imminent. Not an announcement that the name will eventually change, but an actual change of the name. That's what was expected. We got a curveball from the franchise on Monday morning when the statement which was plastered with the current logo and name, announced that the name eventually will be retired at some point down the road when they actually pick a new name. So, you know, there was some inconsistent reporting. There'll be a name change as of Monday. No, the old name is going to be retired as of Monday. The truth ultimately was nothing has happened by way of changing the name other than the announcement that at some point, down the road, the name will change. Frankly, it feels like one last act of defiance by owner Daniel Snyder. Kicking and screaming, he goes into all caps, never o'clock when the name will change. I mean, let's take a step back and think about it. Whatever you think about the name, whether you think it's perfectly fine, you think it honors Native Americans, whether you think it needs to be changed and whether you think it should have been changed years ago, there is something odd about acknowledging that the name needs to go, but still keeping the name, isn't it? And I'm going to be very interested to see who in the media continues to use the name that the team has essentially admitted is not an appropriate name. And I threw that out there on Twitter and people were like, they haven't admitted anything. Well, yes, they have. What, what, what have they declared victory and retreated? They have given it up. The only reason they're giving it up is because they are getting pressure from sponsors to give it up. And the reason they're getting pressure from sponsors to give it up is because the name is inappropriate. The name is a dictionary defined racial slur. And in this extended moment of racial reckoning and awakening in America, this is something that had to happen. It's a no brainer. It had to happen. Now, why isn't it happening right now? It isn't happening right now because they don't have a new name ready. One of the reasons they don't have a new name ready is because they've been screwing around when it comes to trademark rights. We had a story yesterday regarding all of the squatters out there who have filed for trademark protection for names that could become alternative names for the Washington franchise. And other than an effort to squat on Warriors years ago that, according to a recent report, the franchise has abandoned, which means someone else now holds those rights, there's nothing out there suggesting that the team has laid any foundation for trying to get the appropriate protections for a new name and a new logo. And it's both the name and the logo that are going away. Surely they're going to try to get this done before training camp opens. How awkward this is. To make it clear the name is going to change, but to still keep the name. You've got to accelerate this effort. And my guess is there are some people in league circles that are surprised by this development. The way this all got started on Saturday, Charles Robinson was on radio with Clarence Hill in Dallas, and Charles said the name, come on, Macy, Charles Charles said the name change is imminent and the teams have been instructed to be ready to scrub the old name off of their websites. Well, if the new name isn't changing, if the new name is going to remain in place until, I mean, if the old name is going to remain in place until the new name is selected, there's no reason to say any of that. My guess is, and it's a somewhat informed guess, that Snyder went a little rogue here, keeping the name until the new name is selected. Regardless, it should not take long. And I think, if anything, this posture, this strange posture that Snyder has tried to assume will result in even more pressure to move quickly to get this done. Write whatever check you have to write. Do whatever you have to do to get the trademarks for the name that you have chosen and then move forward. I also thought it was odd. A couple of other things from the press release. First, Dan Snyder and Ron Rivera are the two coming up with the new name. I didn't know Ron Rivera was an expert in branding football teams. I thought he was an expert in coaching football teams. How does this responsibility get thrust onto the head coach of the team who's never even coached a practice for the franchise? Are you kidding me? Why is... Dan Snyder using Ron Rivera in this capacity. I'm not saying Ron's not ultimately equipped to do it, but he's ultimately not equipped to do it. He's no more equipped to pick a new brand than I am, than any fan is. I I, I don't get it. Now, hopefully that's just the posture they're taking publicly and that behind the scenes, they're working with all the appropriate 
experts, but I, I'm not ready to concede any points when it comes to this franchise because, as we always say, dysfunctional teams do dysfunctional things. And when you look at that statement that was issued today, it is oozing with dysfunction. And take a closer look at the rattling off of the various constituents that will be considered as the team pivots to a new name. Sponsors are listed before fans. Sponsors are listed before fans. Feels like a little bit of a subtle middle finger to the sponsors for being the ones who have forced this. And regardless, it's happening. Like, if you're gonna do it, just do it. Why are you doing it in kind of a half-assed way? Why are you just not ripping the whole name off and leaving it blank? Who cares if there's not a name there? Nothing's happening right now. Training camp doesn't open until July 28th at the earliest. Get the name selected, get rid of the old name, and get a new name in place. One last point, and this is something we're going to be writing about at PFT. I heard about this over the weekend, and we need to give credit where credit is due. Apparently, I'm told, per sources, the commissioner was heavily involved in pushing and pushing and pushing behind the scenes to get Snyder to do this. We always thought that what would happen is there would be a group of owners who would go to Dan and basically say, it's time. Like in the early 70s, when the group of Republican politicians went to Nixon and said, it's time, something like that. But that didn't have to happen. No other owners had to get their hands dirty here. Roger Goodell fulfilling his duties as the world's highest paid pin cushion, taking on the responsibility of being the one who told Dan Snyder what he needed to hear. So between Goodell from above and Ron Rivera from beneath, Malachi Crunch, timely reference for those of you out there who grew up in the 70s, not so timely for anyone else, but the Malachi Crunch results in Dan Snyder finally crying uncle and saying that he will do what he had said in 2013 he would never do, which is change the name. Look, I'm, I'm not trying to gloat over this. It's something that needed to happen. It was the right thing to do. It's been the right thing to do for a long time. I'm glad that has finally happened. I'm not gonna get into the, why did it take you so long to do this? They're doing it. I don't like the fact that they're announcing that they're doing it, but not doing it yet, but soon enough, it will be gone and a new name will be in its place and we'll see what it is. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.